interesting yesterday. So we'll start off with the Hurt Business. I'm going to tell you how I think we should book it, but I'm going to let Kenzo run point real quick and see what he thinks about the Hurt Business and what we saw. Okay, so there's a... I want to give this a chance because we liked the Hurt Business when it was around and this is a different iteration. It's, you know, different people somewhat involved. But here's the problem. They've given this two shots already. And it was great the first time. They messed it up. Second time was like, what's this? So based on what evidence, what is the tiebreaker? Is one and one? Not even because, I mean, they broke, they broke it up. That's part of the failure. So you could say it's 0 and 2. So what reason do we really have to believe it? I mean, again, we still watch wrestling. We do, we do this. I, I can't do this every video, but like we're watching it, so we want to critique it a little bit. But I just don't, I don't get why we. I mean, we could have got here from the beginning. Well, why could no one have come up with it? like everyone in who we're booking with was in the company when we did her business the first time? Ain't like anybody knew. So I, I, I want to give it a chance. So far, they're like a seven out of ten for me. So far. But I got low expectations. But I mean, again, they they were they were at the top. Basically, they had Bobby Lashley just wrecking stuff. He was an unbeatable champion. Had you know MVP on TV talking cash, and you couldn't beat it. But uh, third time the charm. Who knows? I don't know. I already don't know what to say. Well, I mean, or they could even expand it the business for her that they had, and they could have just added more people like they did now. But I'm gonna tell you how they should book it. I'm gonna give it a chance to because I like the, I like the plans. That's the ball right now. So if you follow the channel, you should know we said this before. Posted in the community post, and we've also made a video on it. Especially when I said how to book Montana's Ford. If you don't, then you subscribe and hit the like and stay for a while. Smoke, roll, choke, whatever you do. Um, this is how I think we should book it. Oh, I said I said this. I said that I believe that the hurt business, or not the hurt business, Street Profits and Bianca Belair were going to turn him. That's what I believe. We see Lashley. I don't think Lash is going to be a face because if we remember, Lash isn't the best face. It's kind of, I'm not going to say corny as a person, but character wise, it's kind of corny. So I, I think it's coming back to be, you know, dominant heel Lashley. So I'm going to think that they're reforming her business. So I think that's great. Do a couple of those, do a little couple of teasers like they did Roman and Paul Heyman. Don't have to be real quick. We already know what's going on, but you don't want, you don't have to. Let me know, like, okay, cool. So you had her business. Like, new t-shirts, this SmackDown. I don't even know that. But, you know, give me some more teas. Let me know that this is what's happening. After they form, boom, boom, boom. Get some good matches. I think you should get the belts. I definitely think you should get the belts because I've said this before, too. Sammy and KO should have never happened. And it's boring as fuck. I was about to say, which time should it have not happened? You've complained about this before. That's what I mean. It shouldn't have happened. Oh, okay, yeah. I think they only did it because they didn't want Cody and Roman. And, uh, Roman to lose to Cody, which well, we could talk about that at the end, too, if we have to. But I think that was the main thing. Is they didn't want Roman to lose. So they said, fuck, we got to give him something. It was a cool moment, obviously, because the fans went crazy. It was, it was great. But it shouldn't have happened because the tag team division, one, is horrible. And two, it's boring as hell now. All we're doing is getting bickering, Sammy and Kevin, and then we're getting Kale like with with anger issues towards other people. It's just it ain't it, it's not working. So get the belts off them. If you got to split it, divide it, whatever you got to do, just get the belts off them. Street profits, hurt business, cool. We got that going on. It's popping. I would want Lash to get the U.S. belt back, but I feel like who would I want to get that more? I think. Drew should get that because Drew ain't getting shit. And before Drew leaves, just give him the US belt. But we get that another day too. So, boom. They have a crippled good match. They're going to have a match. This is, the, I'm booking it. So, you know, fuck with me. Roll with me. So, give me. Give me a minute. They're going to have a couple good matches. It could be the tag team. Lashley's been interfering a couple times, whatever. They banned Lashley. Yo, can't be here. You're out. You're done. Like, goodbye. So now it's Street Profits versus Sammy and KO. And before the match is over, because KO's about to win, hits a stun or whatever, Sammy does a, what is it, the Huluva kick? What's it called? No, yeah, Huluva kick. It's like a hell of a kick, but Huluva because he's uh, fucking yeah. um, 
Canadian. It's supposed to be funny. Whatever. We're about to get the one, two, three. And who out of nowhere pops up? Bianca Bella. Okay. Boom. She comes, she does some shit to Sammy or KO, whichever one. She helps, obviously, hubby. One, two, three. We have new champions. And a la Bianca Belair is a full plus heel, member of the Her Business. So now we got Bobby, Street Profits, Bianca. Not only is it a strong faction, not only does it have some, not really upcomers, because, you know, Bianca has been doing her thing and Montez has been there, but it's, they're fairly new, it's fairly young. So we got some rising stars. We're, make, we're making some new superstars. But I, I mean, Kenny can say it. I don't have to say it. I mean, look at look at the overall of, of the dynamic. I mean, that's powerful. You know what I mean? It's black. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of strength. So here we are. That's how I think I would book it. What do you think? I like it. And now to mention that last part, you said it. Uh, so you got this. I mean, you know, she's the EST, but you got the strength of Bianca and Bobby, and you got the pop of a Montez Ford. So I mean, again, it looks good. You get like we there's no reason for this stuff not to work but again how much faith do we have in them making it work how far and again here's one of the problems wwe inherently over time has shown us time and time again that the only reason for stables and tag teams is to break up so what you missed on your booking is how they're gonna break up because you know that's how the story has to end for them tag teams are not long-term things blah, blah blah i mean many are stables and you mentioned you know we we've talked about this how many times now montez ford is the star of the future so now we have to figure out how does he break apart from this and continue to rise because that's the only way that's the only thing i could think they even did this as an idea that's the only way they work for these these belts as we've said time and time again so i don't know that that's that's one thing i would worry about I would say probably if I probably I'll probably say a few between first off what we said before him and Dawkins because they need to bring up I don't like them but if we're gonna do the hard business Koala cool, Dawkins stay but let that be the first feud he murders Dawkins and then he goes about his business and that's what he gotta do that's that put in the comments what y'all think yeah fucking with it you're not it's cool either way it's cool we're gonna move on though so I think. AW 